This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software and Paramatch. And here we go. It's time for the first ball. Starts off with an absolutely massive wide, so he gets that one completely raw. Now look, look to go over cover. Does it have enough to go away for four? Looks like it does. Very good afternoon to Timothy Lucas, who's uh, joining us. This one has played away very nicely, and uh, that's just going to hit the top of the fence. He's going to look to go big again this time. He's going over fine leg, and that looks like it's going to go away for a six as well. So another great shot here for Mosca. Keep their chances of making it to finals day alive. This one is struck over long on, and what an effort. What a sensational effort. Exceptional. It's going to go big over here. Goes over extra cover. Does it have enough to go for a four? It certainly does. Whenever he has bowled, he's been really, really impressive. Go to economy rate, both in this year's ECS and the last one. But that economy rate is getting spoilt in this over. Huge hit over there. And oh, it looks like that's Gian Kirby. Against the big star for the Capanelli. And this time around, it's going to be the Cap Mosca. Who's going to smash him for six. So yeah, Once again, a slower ball. This could be a chance for a wicket. It is going to be a wicket. And Mosca will take this round, will lose this round to Senanayaka. Senanayaka gets his wicket. Someone like Pasaretti. He's going to look to go big here. And finally, finally a boundary. Oh, this is better. This is better, but it's going to go straight to the fielder. However, he stepped over the rope. And oh, very unfortunate for him. This one has just played across the line. Has he found the gap over here, Kirby? He has. So they get this one away for a four. They needed that boundary. They really did. Time to make a bowling change here. Pereira coming into bowl. Now just clips that one away off his pads. Really nicely played there by Amigula. Very good shot. Just got a touch too straight over there, Pereira. This one is struck away. Does it have enough to clear the rope? Has he got it this time? Yes, he has. Oh, that is great for Shaminda. He has come close a number of times. He's put in some great efforts out in the field. But this time, he'll finally hold on to a catch and get rid of Emmy Gulam. This is just played away towards the offside. Does it have enough to go for a four? It certainly does. So that's going to be a boundary there for Ahmad. Oh, inside edge. And is that going to go away for a four? It certainly will. It's a bit of French cricket here. As that one goes away towards the boundary. So making some runs off their edges. Got him. And he's got him over there. Just a little inside edge onto the stumps. And Pereira will pick up his second wicket. Oh, that's a big appeal over here. And the umpire is going to raise the slow finger of death. And that is going to be a wicket. Hamza, well, just didn't really have enough balls to make an impact on this game. According to the umpire, that one's going to go on to probably hit the top of the leg stump. We'll have a look at this from a couple of different angles. Yeah, so according to the umpire, it's probably going to just go on to hit the top of the leg stump. It's a rather close call, you have to say. It's a very close call. Yeah, we'll just check over here whether height might be an issue on that. Maybe just clipping the top of the leg stumps. You can call that one umpire's call. It's a very tight decision for sure. And as Vanilla Pereira will bowl a sensational final over. Just four runs come off and he gets a couple of wickets as well. And what a s superb fight back. <laughs> Here is a big piece of news. Five penalty runs have been awarded to Kent Lunka 
because a batter from the Roma Campanelli side took more than 60 seconds to go out to the middle. So that is huge. That is absolutely huge. And that means they will need 86 runs. And I think they have to go for the bonus point here. They have to push for it. And Hijaz Ahmed will start off with a dot ball. So I like this, uh, I like this move here. This one's gone up in the air. This is huge. Absolutely massive. It's over pitched that ball. It was in the slot. It was there to be hit. And Shaminda has sent this one away. Over long off. Huge hit. Massive six. Well, this one is a little bit too short. And it's going to be pummeled away. Goes all the way for a six. Up in the air, top edge, chance to take a catch, and it will be taken. Huge wicket. Shaminda will depart. And Bandranaika will get his man. Oh, look at him. He's absolutely delighted having taken that catch. Not something you tend to see too often, but they're going to have to make do a few tricks here. And this could be out. This could be in some trouble. Abid's already been stumped at one point in this innings. And we'll now have a look at this to confirm. Good ball there by Bandranayaka. This one is struck away towards cover, and it's going to go away for a four, so good shot there. This was hit towards long off, and oh, it's too hot to handle there for Anthony Mosca. It gets past him and goes away for a four. A beautiful stroke through the line, very nicely hit. Oh, but he's going to win this one here. Sedanayaka is going to get that one away for a six. A deep third man. Deep mid wicket. And deep square leg and pace. Oh, he's going to look to go through extra cover over here. It's going to split the two fielders and it's gone away for four runs. Oh, this time he goes a bit too short. Hamza goes a bit too short. And it goes away for a six. Great shot there by Sedanayaka. Oh, this time he's going to go straight down the ground. Is there enough distance on that? You bet. You bet. Oh, he's going to look to sweep this one away. He's going to take a bit of fielding out of the deep. But it's going to split the gap between the two fielders. And it will go away for four runs. 17 off this over so far. Yeah, this is going to be cut away, and the fielder will not get to that. It'll end up being a magical over. 22 runs come off it. Anthony Mosk is going to look to go a little bit shorter here, but he's going to get cut away for four runs. Which it gives up the no ball and then drops a catch over there as well. This will go away for four runs. Silva will strike that towards the boundary open. Now Kent Lanka need just 14 runs to pick up another victory. Don't give him the single that easily. Oh, but he's going to bash this one away for six, so it's not going to matter. Just a little too short there by Niaz. Silva gets underneath it, and now scores are level. They need just one run to win this one. And it's going to end with a wide, so that would typically be a fine in Village Cricket to end a match with a wide. But that's the end of this one. And the Campanelli have been put out of their misery. And ever since that sixth over, which went for 22 runs, they've just looked a defeated side. And you can tell that they just want to go back home now. I think they've had enough of this. You've got to feel for this Campanelli side. They're a strong team. They've got some quality players. But results haven't quite gone their way during the course of this ECS. Kent Lunkanopoli will take the victory.